Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Welcome back to another episode with our guest, Rebecca Munoz, the founder and curator of Cultured Society. Uh, Today, we're going to be discussing the power within, and Rebecca will be sharing insights on how positive affirmations can really transform our personal self-concept. So first and foremost, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm doing phenomenal. Thank you so much for having me today. I'm really excited to have a conversation about this concept, which is one of my favorite conversations to have. Great. Well, could you uh, explain a little bit about positive affirmations, uh, what they are, and uh, discuss how they relate to our self-concept? Yes, absolutely. So it's One of my favorite topics to discuss because positive affirmations have completely transformed my life and the people that I work with. And so positive affirmations, I'm sure that many people that are tuning into this conversation are familiar with positive affirmations, but um, there are statements that, that we repeat to ourselves in order to challenge negative thoughts and beliefs about ourselves. They act as powerful tools to rewire our subconscious mind and to shape our self-concept in a positive way instead of the negative attributes that we have been taught about ourselves. Uh, By consistently affirming positive statements about ourselves, we can shift our mindset and embrace a more empowering self-image. And I'm sure you can attest to this, Jill. We live in a world that uh, tends to focus more so on the negative aspects of ourselves versus the positive. It's always reverting back to something negative. And so we are working and attuning ourselves now to more of an optimistic mystic way of seeing ourselves so that we can view the world from a more positive perspective. Well, thank you for sharing that. And it's funny. I'm trying to think of the ones that are on my refrigerator because a lot of us have those positive affirmations, right? (laughs) But it's so true. You look at them all the time and it makes you really think and instills in those beliefs in you. Do you have a favorite one that you want to share? Sure. Well, so first and foremost, the reason why I'm so passionate about this is because I struggled with my self-concept and my self-esteem pretty much majority of my life. I'm 39 years old. And over the course of these 10, well, it's been about 12 years that I've been on a holistic transformation journey. But even within these 12 years, I still had a very challenging time with viewing myself in that in that lighter percept perception right so yeah I just like yourself I um I used to write love notes to myself and I used to post them anywhere where I knew that I oh. would be going first so like I would um write love notes on my mirror with lipstick every mirror that I had in my household and then I would write post-it notes on my refrigerator but one of my favorite ones was I am love And I am the most beautiful human being that I've ever seen. And it is, it has really just changed the perception of myself because for a very long time, I was considered the ugly duckling, or at least I thought I was, Um, you know, I was, I was 50 pounds heavier than I am now. Uh, Uh, I had a lot of ailments that caused a lot of dysfunction within my body. And so incorporating these positive affirmations really helped me move from, um, from a negative aspect or self-concept to a more self-empowering self-concept. And so by consistently repeating affirmations like I am worthy, I am capable, I am strong, I am brilliant, I see myself in the most positive light, I am capable of doing anything that I've ever desired. Um, wow. My, I'm a magnet for miracles. I am abundant by nature. Those types of positive affirmations really help build your own potential because in reality, yeah. we need to go within. And when we start from empowering statements and believe that from within, we so don't necessarily true. need the validation from external yep. sources, mm-hmm. but it definitely starts to mirror back to you. I, I will tell you that now that I feel this way about myself, and I'm sure you can, because you're, you're a beautiful woman physically, mm-hmm. and 
you also have a beautiful energy about you and it really does start with the energy of your being right so i will go out to spaces public spaces and the way that i feel about myself is the way that people affirm the way that i believe about myself so i'll go out in mm -hmm. random spaces and strangers perfect strangers will tell me wow. the exact same thing that I believe about myself. And so it's really beautiful because personal transformation, um, it, it has a very deep meaning and there's a science behind yeah. it. There's a frequency and uh, there's, there's a vibration and a frequency that's so mm -hmm. powerful in the words and the thoughts that we think. And so helping people transform their mind and the way that they believe about their self is so empowering and it does change the trajectory of your life. Amazing. And you're so right about that. I, I don't do it on purpose, but if I'm out somewhere, you start talking to people and then it's like, wow, this person picked that up. And wow, they love that. I'm passionate about my kids. They, they see I'm a good, I, I get exactly what you're saying. I, I yes. Have you ever <laughs> been to a dark room where it's like, just off and it's like okay what am I doing here like I, I've been to like some like PTA events and like sometimes the vibe is weird you could sense people right and sense their being in spirit and now hold on do you let me ask have you found some beings and spirits that aren't so amazing or so and I have and you know what I do? I embrace them more and I try to like I guess try to change them but try to <laughs> encourage more positive talk about them to try to lift their spirits to try to get them out of whatever funk they are just just letting you know right um oh, I, I do that a lot and it's good to see make someone smile right oh yeah and it's interesting because uh so i have these abundance alarms that go off every hour of the day i've oh. scheduled them into my phone and so this is actually an exercise that i do with people that i work with is i have well they don't oftentimes don't even know how to start off with affirmations or what mm -hmm. to say. So because I'm a writer, I have, I mean, I have like journals upon journals of affirmations and mm -hmm. intentions that I've written out. And so to give you an example of one of the uh, abundance alarms that I have that goes off, it goes off at 11, 11. It just went off a little while ago. Ah. And it says, I love that I'm fueled with boundless energy confidence and clarity yep. propelling me towards my goals with unwavering determination and success. And that one goes off every single day at the same time. Uh -huh. And even before it goes off, my subconscious has already been programmed to expect it. And so I already affirm it before it's even gone off. And so whenever I'm on the phone with somebody or I'm doing a session with some with someone, and typically I'm working with someone as these alarms go off, yeah. I will stop them in their tracks and we will stop the conversation and I will have them repeat that affirmation after me. And it's so interesting because it instantly shifts their energy. So it does. Yep. It really yeah. does. I love that. And I, I know you're going to give us some examples of where you've helped people kind of, you know, with this whole transformational uh, self, their personal self-concept. That's kind of what we're just talking about now. But do yes. you want to share some more details and experiences about this, of how you've helped others? Yes, absolutely. So I, I work with a variety of people. In fact, my my target audience ranges from 25 to 65. But I am now seeing that there are more people, especially in the time that we're living in today, because we're going through a very rapid oh, ascension yeah. process. And our planet is shifting where people's consciousness is really helping them understand or understand the fact the the importance of inner work, right? And so instead of projecting outward and blaming everyone else, people mm -hmm. are now starting to take personal responsibility of the fact that if they want their life to change or the world to change, they need to change. So to give you an example, yesterday I was working with a woman that is in her 70s and oh. she has um, she just started doing this work because she is a mother, she is a grandmother, she's a wife, she's an entrepreneur, and she's never really given herself the opportunity to take 
self-care to new yeah. levels. And so her self-concept, considering how much success she's had in external success in her life, she still doesn't see herself in a positive light. And so whenever we were doing these affirmations, and they seem so simple, but yet it's very difficult for people to do that for themselves. Because self-care, you think, oh, I'm going to go to the salon and get my hair done, or I'm going to get my nails done. I'm going to go shopping and buy something. But that's all superficial. When you're working on the conditions of your heart, when you're working on your shifting your mindset, you're, mm -hmm. you're completely reprogramming your supercomputer, right? Your mind is the computer. It's the computer yeah. that runs your entire being, right? And so it was interesting because at the end of our session, she was just like, oh my gosh, I feel so enlightened. I feel lighter. I feel more positive. I feel like I can... I can see a brighter future for myself. Yeah. And so that's really what it's so amazing how simple yet profound mm -hmm. speaking kindly to yourself can really shift, shift the energy of how you function at an optimal level. And so this is what we do here at Cultured Society. If you go in, uh, to aculturedsociety.com, which is my website, you're not going to just find access to my work and working on a personal level with me, but you're going to find a gallery. It's like an art gallery of creativity where it's going to give you uh, an opportunity to connect with human beings that are spread out throughout the world mm -hmm. that they may look different than you, but they're going to have aspects of you that are going to enlighten you and are going to inspire you to operate at your most optimal potential. I love it. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And by the way, if we do reach out to you, which we hope yeah. we all go to a culture society.com, you offer an initial consultation, right? I do. I do. I offer a 15 to 30 minute complimentary mm -hmm. consultation and we'll go over the program that I offer. I do. It, it's kind of like the 12 step for ultimate self-care. So this is pretty much going to give, it's a 12 week series if you decide that you do decide to work with me. Um, and it's going to give you the foundation for a strong self-care practice that is going to transform your mind, body, and spirit. Because here we are all about sustainability. We're not about quick fixes. We don't believe in diets. We don't believe in trends. It's all about getting to the root of the problem and allowing yep. you to develop practices and rituals that are going to empower you day in and day out to make these sustainable changes that are going to transform every aspect of your life. Because when yeah. you get to the root of the problem, when you start to work on those foundational elements in your being, yeah. you get to really live out your life in the most free, uh, free, uh, like you're just, you're free, right? And that's what we need. We need more people on this planet that are free and that they are operating at their highest potential. Beautifully said. Thank you so much for that. All right. And let's continue the conversation. If you are just tuning in, uh, we are talking about the power within uh, with Rebecca Munoz and uh, talking about uh, positive affirmations, talking about how, you know, what these are and how it can really help you express yourself and in turn make you feel better about yourself, emanate more positivity. And what would you say to some of those who doubt the power of this positive affirmations, Rebecca? Oh, wow. Well, you know, there's, it's easier to doubt than it is, e than it is to shift into faith. Because uh, have you ever read the scripture about faith? Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. That's why a very big percentage of humanity has a very difficult time having faith because we're so superficial, like you have to see it, you have to, you have to see it before you believe it, you have to feel it, right? 
but that's not the way that it works oftentimes, especially if your, yeah. your self-concept is so deeply rooted in ancestral beliefs. And we here work on the concept of removing generational curses. And so when we're working with people that have self-doubt and that don't believe that this works, I really encourage and empower people to start to really develop the courage and the belief yeah. and the faith, right? And to know that you have to feel it and you have to believe it and you have to have the vision first before it transpires into physical manifestation. And so it's a practice. It's a daily practice. Mm -hmm. I didn't get to this, this place right now of self-empowerment and self-belief overnight. This was a progression of daily disciplines and rituals yeah. and habits that I literally second by second, minute by minute, hour by hour, day by day, I accumulated so that I could really transform at a cellular level. And so when you utilize these affirmations and you believe them and you affirm them with conviction, mm -hmm. your cells are going to follow suit. And it is literally going to change the way that you view the world around you. Your relationships are going to improve. Now, I mean, the most important relationship that you'll ever have is a relationship with self. And that literally mirrors back the relationships that you have externally. And it also even changes the dynamics of your yeah. workforce, you know. And so I, I just always encourage people to be patient to have patience and to develop kindness, right? Because kindness and empathy and compassion begins with you. And then you can ex start extend that to other people. And I find that people that I've worked with, when they start to self-empower, it's so much easier for them to give that love and kindness to the world around them. So it raises their energy. It raises their frequency. It, we're here to empower you to raise your vibration. Because the more that we raise our vibration at an individual level, the more we are going to be able to experience a heaven on earth experience day in and day out. Beautiful. So if our listeners are interested in incorporating this, uh, these positive affirmations into our lives, how do you really get started? Could you share that? Yeah. So one of the things that I did was um, was I started to incorporate gratitude practices. So your subconscious mind is very receptive at the beginning of the day. So my body alarm wakes me up at about 3 wow. o'clock. <laughs> and so I already start to I pray. I express gratitude and I affirm myself at that moment in time. And so your your brain is like at an alpha state and that's when your your um your subconscious mind is more receptive to the information. So at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day, you could either journal yeah. with you know you could have a journal or you can do uh voice notes and okay. so i always encourage people to do it with their own voice because it gives them an opportunity to hear themselves and it starts to register more clearly so you can start off with three to five gratitude practices today okay. i'm happy today i am happy and grateful that i have another opportunity to experience life today i'm happy and grateful that my body is functioning at, at an optimal level. Today, I'm happy and grateful that I have all the resources that I need to thrive day in and day out. And it doesn't necessarily have to be about anything external, right? Because a lot of times people wait, or they say, I'll be happy when I have this amount of money in the bank account, or I'll be happy when I have the love of my life, or I'll be happy when I uh, get married children, right? I'll be happy when I have this beautiful home, I'll be happy when I have this nice car to drive. No, it has nothing to do with external possessions. Because if you're unhappy inside, and you still see yourself with that negative self concept, everything else is going to just be noise, right? You're going to have it, and then you're just going to not be grateful for it at all. And so it starts with the simplest uh, aspects of your life, like having breath, because your breath is the most abundant aspect of you. It's the 
the reason why you're living today, right? People take that for granted. And so when you start to appreciate the simplest things like your breath, which is the most abundant aspect of you, the more you're going to be able to appreciate everything outside of you. And so again, uh, affirming yourself first thing as you awaken for the day and last thing you do when you go to sleep at night, because um, when you end your day, and you're getting ready for bed, it's literally like you have put the day to rest and everything is history, right? When you are resting and in sleep state, it's your body is literally regenerating at itself at a cellular level. You have died to that history. And when you awaken to a new day, it's like you're a new creation. And that's what's beautiful about our body is that our body naturally does that for you when you give it what it needs. And so in our program, we also talk a lot about the concept of of, of conscious consumption, not just with what you're thinking and speaking, but it's also what you're absorbing, all the information that you're absorbing. So consciously scrolling, right? Making sure that everyone that you're following, everyone that you're surrounding yourself with, the uh, the information that you are reading and that the the music that you're listening to, that everything has a positive message because your subconscious is being programmed second by second. And so, it, you know, it, it does require a, like some intention and awareness. But when you do this for yourself and you start off really small, it's that 1% shift, right? Uh, whenever you, when you incorporate 1% shifts on a day by day basis, it accumulates to 365% growth over the course of a year. That is incredible. Wow. But that 1% <laughs> yeah. can do. You know, and so it's it it's so simple, yet it can be very challenging because in our society we're so programmed to the negative. But if you desire to see a difference in the mm -hmm. world, then you have to be the difference in the world. Got it. And I know you're helping uh, people change and be this different. So what else did you want to add for today's show? We still have five minutes left. Just want to yeah. make sure we're, uh, we're good on time, right? Yes. Yes, okay. absolutely. So um, I have a variety of platforms, not only through my website, aculturedsociety.com, but I also have a YouTube channel. I have an Instagram page and I have uh, three pages on Facebook where you can find so much valuable free content. Um, I, I tend to uh, attract a lot of readers or people that are starting to uh, desire to inform themselves. And so the writings that I offer on these platforms are very creative and they're also very practical okay. and they're fun. They're fun. And I also really empower people to start incorporating mindfulness practices, not mm -hmm. only through what they're eating, what they're thinking, what they're speaking, but also the environments that they're placing themselves themselves in. So incorporating grounding practices. Um, do you do you tend to go out to nature and take off your shoes and walk around barefoot? <laughs> Hold on. Do you mind? No. Look around. Uh, I'm there for <laughs> now. Yes, me too. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it me too. So good. There's a little carpet underneath the my desk area, and I just feel more at home. I love it. I'm grounding, and now I'm grounding on the chair, my cold foot. <laughs> I love it. Oh yeah. Like I, I mean, it's again, people. You would think that people know about this, but think about your body as um as a self-regulating energy machine. Mm -hmm. And when you walk outside into nature without your shoes, your feet literally, it's like you're being wow. recharged instantly, right? And so we have this beautiful planet Earth and we have trees and flowers and plants and the <laughs> sun and the moon and the stars and the planets, right? That literally, re they recharge us every 
single day. So you have a lot of people that are dysregulated, yeah, yeah. right? And just anxious and depressed and sad. And, and it's like, you have more control than you think you do. You just need the practical tools and the awareness for you to know that you can transform your life like that at a rapid pace. <laughs> Beautifully said. And how can we get started to work with you, Rebecca? Perfect. Absolutely. Time. Yes, absolutely. So throughout all of my platforms, there's a way to connect with me. But if you want to go directly to www.aculturedsociety.com, I have a section. It's the coaching section and you can put in your information. I will reach out directly to you. We can schedule a 15 to 30 minute complimentary consultation and you could decide whether this is an adventure that you want to embark in but I will tell you that it's going to be the adventure of your life and I'm here doing this work within myself every day so that I have the capacity to pour into you the person that is seeking that transformation that is going to transform you from the inside out. Beautifully said. Thank you again, Miss Rebecca Munoz. And don't forget, uh, culturedsociety.com. It's a culturedsociety.com. A culturedsociety.com, yes. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. You could just Google your name and everything pops up. Yes, absolutely. All right. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Have Thank a you. fantastic day, okay? You Great too. show. Thank you for all it. the energy and all the light. I can feel it. I feel it. <laughs> As always, beautiful outside and inside. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on mytuner-radio.com or search Podcast Business News Network on streama.com and onlineradiobox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.